So like I just said, when you're eating an earlier, lighter dinner, it sets you up to be able to go to bed earlier. And it also sets you up to be able to hydrate and well, to eliminate first thing in the morning, which makes you feel amazing for the rest of the day. So even if you're only, you know, doing early, earlier, lighter dinner, 50% of the time or 50% more than you were doing before, that's, you're going to feel 50% better at least than you were before. You might feel more than that better because um, these are compound, compound habits. But so even if you're only doing it half the time or 40% or of the time or 30% of the time more than you were doing it before, it's going to be helpful. That's the reason that we're doing earlier, lighter dinners first. So at the end of 10 weeks, I really want this habit to be the most ingrained. It's going to give you the most leverage to have, um, have it change over time with all of the rest of them. And if you only get this habit for the rest of your life, it's still going to be an amazing difference for your body, for your longevity, for all of these things. So if we can like really dial it in, we, we have a shot for space in the evening. So, you know, winding down and uh, having connection with, um, with our loved ones um, or with ourselves. Uh, we have a shot at sleeping more deeply. We have a shot at being more well rested. Um, we have a shot at being able to poop in the morning. Uh, we have a shot at just more consciousness and mental clarity the next day. Um, because when we aren't able to eliminate the next day, you know, we have a lot of toxicity that's kind of gunking up the works. Um, and also when we're not able to sleep as well, that's also going to impact our mental clarity. So all of these things are impacted by just eating earlier and lighter than, uh, than we're used to. So some options, some things that you might, that you might want to do in order to make this happen, because we didn't get really get into the social aspect of earlier, lighter dinners on the last call. Uh, we can do, we can, obviously it's always going to be okay to eat later with friends or whatever. As long as we're not doing it every single day, it's not really going to make an impact on our physiology long-term. Um, so some of the things though that you might be able to do in order to make this so that's not, um, make it so that you're, you're more often doing an earlier, lighter dinner is even, so if you wanna go out to dinner or maybe you wanna do a to-go night or something like that, you can even do a lunch special and those are usually cheaper. So if you, if you go early enough there, you can eat at like, um, you can take it to go and then eat earlier than you would um, or you know, if you want to go to dinner still, you could go early at like five or whatever. And those usually they have, um, you know, happy hour deals or cheaper deals um, to be able to do that. Um, also, another thing that I'll say is if you're not hungry, you don't have to eat dinner. Um, but also I want to say at the same time, don't restrict and skip dinner if you are hungry. You know, you want to make sure that you're honoring your body's need for substance, sustenance, um, but you also want to honor its need for, you know, that, that feeling of emptiness and being able to digest um, enough of your food because you're, when we overeat, then it's harder for our body to digest and, and assimilate all of the nutrients and all of that kind of thing. So, so that's an option too. You know, you could eat later, uh, if you're eating like a really late lunch, that's really heavy, you might not be hungry and you probably will be hungry most days, but it's always okay to, it's always okay to eat food when you are hungry. And it's always okay to say no to food when you're not hungry. That's just something I wanted to, wanted to mention. All right. So also, uh, kitchen prep. I know that some people are like, okay, meal prepping sounds horrible. I don't want to do meal prepping. <laughs> and a lot of times that is because you think of meal prepping as like you spend an entire day prepping for your week and like you put them in these little, uh, little lunchbox things that have like, uh, you know, um, little dividers and whatever. And I've never done that. <laughs> and I'm not saying that you have to do that at all. Um, meal prepping to me is instead, you know, making one, maybe two recipes, um, you know, and I also don't really follow recipes that much. I use them more as inspiration than like following um, to the T. 
Um, so I, I make one to two recipes a week. And then, um, and then I use the leftover ingredients to make like a soup or a salad or a bowl or, you know, a wrap or something like that. So what you can do is batch task. Instead of meal prepping for the entire week, you can just, you know, prep some veggies. So like chop, chop a salad. Uh, you can uh, just bake some veggies that you're then able to throw into um, a super salad or bowl or whatever the next couple of days. Um, and all you have to do to get that ready is uh, chop them up and put some spices on them, throw them in the oven. Um, some other options that you might be able to do are, uh, or some other things that you might be able to do that'll, that'll save you time each day is like making your sauces and dressings and broths um, in one like meal prep setting. So that's kind of what I mean by meal prepping. Um, and then the menu planning uh, portion of earlier lighter dinners that I put in the units, that unit on the forum is um, the, the menu plan or the weekly meal plan is there to help you figure out what you're planning out. You don't have to use it, but it might be really helpful, especially when you're starting out cooking um, to just write out like, okay, this is what I'm gonna have for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then you're going to be able to um, really make like a simple, simple menu, eat multiple things multiple days in a row unless you get super bored and then don't want to eat anything and end up eating out, then make something different um, that's going to taste really good to you. But all of these things are ways that we might be able to uh, make it a lot easier on ourselves because earlier, later dinners, like it's easy, it's easy to say that, but the cooking aspect of it makes it a little bit. Um, more time consuming and more thought consuming um, 